If you want to create a deck in Brainscape, the first thing you need is a place to put it, a proper subject to put it under. If you're in one of the subjects you found from someone else, such as Knowledge Re Rehab, there's no place to create a deck in here. You need a subject to do that on. So I have a few subjects in here I could use, but I'm going to create a new one for the sake of this video. So we'll click Create to create a new subject. We'll give it a name down here. We'll call it Logos. It'll be kind of fun. Do some company logos. And that creates the subject. Now we can create some decks inside of this subject. So we'll create a deck here and we'll call it um, Tech Companies. We'll go ahead and save that one. And then we'll even create another deck and call it Restaurants. And in another video, we'll show you how to add cards to it. Uh, the other piece to notice now, so we do have our subject and we have a couple decks in here. We can now share this subject or make this subject private. You can't make individual decks private or shared, but you can share the entire subject or make the entire thing private depending on whether you're premium or not. Uh, so to make private, you simply click make private, check the box, and no one will be able to see it. And again, you see here to invite other people to learn from this deck, you must directly share it with them and they also have to have a pro account. So you have to be pro in order to make it private and anyone you share it with has to be pro as well. So we can do that and this will no longer show up in the search or any of those areas. It's gonna be a private deck for ourselves or private, excuse me, a private subject for ourselves. Uh, in this case though, I'll make it public because I don't really care in this, this one. But either way, you can hit share subject. You'll notice how share subject looks different depending on how it is. If we click share subject now, we can say share URL or share via email and give people a link to see this subject because it's public. However, if we go back and make it private, go back in and make it private again. If we click share subject, we no longer have that URL we can give. We have to email them that and give them access either to study or to be able to edit it or have full admin rights over it. So. In my case, when I have the private decks I want to share with people, I usually want to make them editors so they can add more cards to it, but not let them destroy it with admin rights. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can at least share private decks. That was something I looked for that I was pleased Brainscape has. So that's the basics of creating and editing decks, and we'll look at dealing with cards in another video. Thanks.